time to put your lights up. Hey guys, what's up? DarcyJ117 here on Forza Horizon 2. Welcome to episode 10 of Turn Up Tuesday. Today we are reviewing the McLaren 650S. This car is one of my favorite supercars in the world, but I reckon the P1 is a little bit better. So anyway, getting into it, this will cost you 265,000 credits. Comes S2 class, where we all drive, 641 horsepower, 500 pounds of torque, and it weighs 3,000. 148 pounds now upgraded here i got it to 1034 horsepower 700 pounds of torque and it weighs 3455 pounds so this car is an absolute beast now the tune i have on here and the whole build and everything i downloaded it so you will be able to find that pretty easy it comes up in the recommended ones every time you search so i tried making one there's something wrong with it couldn't figure out what it was so yeah but anyway, now we're here at the airport to get our top speed and time. Now this car, I'm pretty sure it has six gears in it, which is all you need really. And it looks so, so good. Basically what it is, the front half is the McLaren P1, and then the back half is the McLaren 12C. Now P1's my favourite supercar of all time. Really, really love it. I do still prefer the 12C, but this still is really, really nice. So coming up to the end here, and we managed to reach a top speed of 228 miles an hour, and we did that in 26.75 seconds. So next up here, of course, we're going to do the same, but off-road. So off we go here, and as this thing is all-wheel drive, it actually works quite well off-road, and at the end you'll see, or after this you'll see, at the times are very, very similar. And when I say very, very similar, oh my god, they are very similar. So anyway, coming up here, we're hitting our top speed soon. Can we get to 200 miles an hour? Yes, we can. To be exact, we can get to 211 miles an hour, and we did that in 26.75 seconds. Point one of a second's difference. That is crazy. So anyway, now we're here at the docks to do some drifting and just driving around in general in the 650S. Now, instead of the industrial zone, I decided to come to the docks just to make it a little bit different so anyway this car especially with the build i have on it right now it is really really nice at drifting and especially if you're good at drifting then it'd be even better and i don't know why but back in, in gta 5 when it first came out i used to be like so good at drifting in it but now i just can't do it and i can't seem to do it on horizon 2 either very well so it's really really annoying yeah. But anyway, I was driving it around, and this car, I definitely recommend you go buy this. It comes in the um, Napa Chassis Car Pack DLC, so you're going to have to get that if you do want this car. But I definitely recommend it, as there are also quite a few other cars in the DLC, which are very good. And in my opinion, it's probably the oh, second best DLC pack, because the F-Type is definitely the best thing that turned 10 and the other studio which made this game has given us. <laughs> so anyway, now we're just driving back and down on Nice and it was just so good driving in this car and it was raining, it was just the perfect atmosphere. And this person here, as you can see inside the car view, looks really, really nice. Got that really awesome steering wheel and the dash is all really good. I just absolutely love this car. And then the hood view on the not as good as the interior view as it's pretty plain um, as you might see here in a second yeah very plain so anyway now of course just moving on to all of the times um so on-road drag times the mclaren did in 26.75 seconds which is the fastest so far but we haven't had any uh, other supercars or hypercars to really compete with it anyway so next up here for the off-road times it did it in 26.65 seconds and that absolutely wrecked everything else, even the off-road car. So you know, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next bit. Yeah.